Hey everyone, Dutch here again with another spreadsheet tracking a MSF event. This time we have the third anniversary milestones event, which is uh, entitled the Universal Truth and Dark Matter Milestones. I'm sure you've already looked at these. I know I'm a little bit late getting around to this, but you know, hey, you get what you pay for, right? <laughs> uh, this event actually, uh, suffice to say, it actually looks really easy to complete. I will say in my assessment here, I'll go through the details of how you earn the essence and the shards to unlock the orbs that you need to complete all of the milestones. There are quite a few. Uh, it goes all the way up to 72,000 points, which is 72,000 cosmic essence is what you'll need to complete. Um, but it's 45 milestones. It's quite long. Uh, and it's, a, it's pretty much a cut and paste of the event from... Uh, the second year anniversary as far as this milestone is concerned. Uh, but they added more ways to earn uh, the cosmic essence that derives these orbs. So the first one, and I'll, I'll talk about this in more detail later, is the Universal Truth Milestone, which you get from spending war credits. You get one point per war credit spent and five points per elite war credit spent for the war store orbs. Um, all this gives you is more essence to open more orbs for the event, uh, which is of course great. It's every day. So the idea is that you spend war credits, you know, every day on, you know, mini uniques or whatever you're looking for, maybe ghost shards or something like that. And you'll get points for it. And I'll talk about what the optimal rate is to do there and uh, go through some of the other avenues that we have to earn points, such as the blitz wins a day or uh, campaign energy and uh, let's just flip over to that right now. Um, actually, I'm sorry, before I switch there, let me show you two other things. So real quick, in the uh, daily uh, uh, missions, you'll have a couple hundred uh, shards, a total of 800 uh, per day that you can earn from the daily arena battles, raid battles, and uh, RTA. And then of course, uh, as I mentioned, you can get them also from campaign nodes for a one-to-one -one ratio. So you can see here at the bottom, a 20 energy node will give you 20 essence. Uh, same for the ISO 8 campaign, which is pretty awesome. So uh, you may want to choose where you spend your cores as far as refreshes go, uh, but essentially you get one-to-one either way so since the amp the campaign energies are pretty much equal as far as the cost uh, it really doesn't matter which one you choose to focus on so let's flip over to the sheet i've uh, mapped out all the big milestones for the total uh 70 or the uh, 45 milestones here with the 72,000 points uh, if you're doing the orange orbs for the g15 mini uniques which drop at a very low rate uh, you need uh 90 of those orbs to complete it or 72,000 cosmic essence at least um, so i expect that i will go way beyond that personally <laughs> because i'm going to show you here all the calculations i did and then the final thing that we'll look at is the war store spending because that one's a little bit more tricky and a little bit more involved. So uh, let's start with Blitz. Blitz is really simple. If you sim, you get 22 essence per win. If you do it manually, like I don't know who's still doing that, but it's 36 points per win. So if you need to, you can switch this number here. Uh, I projected 100 wins a day because there really aren't any big blitzes that I'm wanting to blitz for. So four or five rotations a day is not a big deal to me. Um, so I, I figured getting 100 wins a day is not a big deal. Uh, from that, I'll earn 2,200 credits, right? And uh, for 14 days, you know, we'll just do that. It's times 14 and you get 30,800 credits from that. That's almost half of what you need if you need 72,000. That's, that's like 40% of the way there. So that's pretty good. Uh, your daily energy regen, you get 288 energy per day for the regular campaign. You get 360 energy per day for ISO 8 because it's on a shorter timer. It's at four minutes per energy regen. Uh, you will get uh, three energy refills per day for free, which gives you 80 energy for both campaigns. So that's 480 energy per day. You will get uh, up to four 50 core refreshes per day for each energy style. So that is 480 energy each. So if you're doing all those for 200 cores a day, uh, you know, go ahead and do that uh, if you really want to, but I'll show you here, you don't even have to do that much if you don't want to. <laughs> so I'm actually, here, I'll do it right now. I'm gonna turn this down by two because I don't really need that much ISO 8 stuff. So I'm not gonna waste it on there. I'd rather go after gear or um, character shards with the regular ener uh, campaign energy. Uh, and then one-time purchase energy, uh, if you do purchase any, um, just stick it in here and it'll automatically show. Um, so I have really 160 sitting in my uh, mailbox 
from just maintenance and stuff so I, I can pull those later whenever I need to if I'm trying to hit like a milestone uh, no big deal there and then the idea is so total daily you'll get um, you'll get um, you know 1848 or so if you're doing this with like say six refreshes instead of eight and then uh, that'll translate to 25,000 uh, total cosmic essence over the 14 days of the event um, so that plus the 30,000 from blitz that'll give you well that'll give me uh, you know 55,000 uh, plus points right there I don't really need a whole lot more to make the rest um, and then we haven't even talked about like I mentioned earlier there's 800 a day just in your daily missions that's another 11,200 the cr calendar that that they gave us for the anniversary event gives us another 600 over the span of the uh the event so that's another 11,800 that we get there um, so when we add all this up and this is the projected progress thing so we need 72,000 total to finish right blitz credits let's say it's 30,000 projected energy credits let's say it's 25,000 uh, I didn't buy any offers but if you do you're welcome to put those uh, cosmic essence here so if it gives you say 2,000 essence just put 2,000 here and it'll show up in this calculation here um, if you're doing the war store I'll talk about that in more detail here because uh, that's the most flexible of, of these things um, you know we're, we're already you know I'm just doing a, an average projection from the war thing that I'll get about 7,000 credits over the entire event and I'm already well over and if there's a really good blitz out there I'm gonna blitz way 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 more so that's kind of nice I got a lot of cushion here now my current milestones uh, I'm only at 2400 because I've only opened a couple of orbs so far uh, so I still need 69,000 I got a whole bunch that I'm sitting on I was gonna open at the end of this video just to show what's in them uh, the other thing is we have a couple of calculators here just to show like the event has 12 12 and a half days left uh, how much has time has elapsed so far and then based on your current number here let's say I add a zero here um, you'll see a couple of these things change so if I've earned 24,000 coin credits so far which of course I haven't um, it's telling me that I've earned about 18,000 per day and that I am going to average about 230,000 throughout the event which of course is a little bit high so let's uh, let's take that down to say like you know 8,000 right that's a little more reasonable I'm well on my way because this is in green it's above 72k and uh, my average credit is about 6,000 a day really you want to average about 5,000 a day or so to uh, meet the meet the goal um, you'll see over here this is just a quick uh, rundown of the 14 days and where you should be each day so if you're concerned and you're filling in this point total uh, it'll it'll fill in as you go so watch here the second one will turn green so if I've surpassed it it'll turn green that means I've completed it uh, and the same can be said over here for the main milestones so let's scroll down a little bit and let's talk a little bit about the war war portion of this because it's a little more complicated than the rest of that. everything else is pretty straightforward we've done all that before this is the first time I've seen war credits used as a way of uh, fueling events uh, orb fund or orb shards uh, pool so what I did was I mapped out the milestones here and I showed the incremental number of points that you need uh, per uh, milestone so it's you know 120 120 200 200 280 and then it keeps going up and up and up and up right and it starts at 1140 for the first one uh, and it ends at 10,000 right so if you spend more than 10,000 you get zero return on that uh, but if you spend up to 10,000 you'll keep getting essence however there is a diminishing return quality here and so you can see here at 40 uh, essence here here for the first seven milestones you'll get 280 total essence so if you're trying to hit like that 2340 range which is basically like two store purchases of a couple of things I, I've actually put this over here on the right uh, you can see here the points of each of the different items that people tend to buy uh, I didn't bother mapping out the blue and the purple stuff but you know use use your discretion as to what you want to spend it on uh, I'm personally just looking for ghost shards and g15 mini uniques and then of course the war or orange war orb 2 but the thing is the orange war orb 2 gives me 6,000 points when I do it because it's a 5 to 1 um, ratio on the 1200 credits it costs so that gets me all the way down here to milestone 4 if I use that and I'm already way past the uh, 40s and 25s and anything else I spend beyond that is going to just get me 20 a piece so the returns are quite diminishing at a certain point so I would recommend if you have a lot of elite war credits saved up what you could do is 
wait and see what the store refreshes give you each day. And if they give you good stuff and you want to buy it, then go ahead and do that and see where you get in here. And then, you know, if you're like way past this and say you're at 7,000 something already and you're towards the end, there's no point in using a war orb at the time because it's just going to run you over the 10,000 for not a whole lot. You'll get like 80 uh, essence for that. That seems like a waste to me. Whereas if you just have a day and you're not doing store refresh and you just don't find anything you want to buy, that's the day to use your war orb because it'll give you the most bang for your buck. So just a little strategy there, it's, but you can do it however you like. I've also included a really complicated calculator down here. <laughs> if you'd like to put in your current inventory of war credits and elite war credits, and it'll tell you what the value is and then the total value of that. Uh, if you estimate, let's say, um, you know, I'm in a Platinum 2 alliance, um, we get, say, 5,000 war credits per war, regardless of win or loss, that's the average. We get about 1,600 elite war credits per war average. Um, so over 14 days, that's, you know, 5,571 per day on average, right? But these are ballpark numbers. And there's, you know, two days that we don't have war, right? So it's Sundays don't really count for anything. Uh, but let's just say it's 5,000 a day and be very conservative, right? So if I got 5,000 a day, I can put that in my daily income here. These, these cells will automatically update with whatever you put here. And it'll also update at the top here what's the war currency start, right? Like what's your potential points that you can get? And let's say I want to spend 7,400 a day, uh, maybe 7,480 would be better because that's that milestone. If I'm really trying to target this down, or may, let's just make it an even 7,500, right? I can just run that down here. And the idea is that given my income, I'm not going to run out of credit. So that means I could bump this up even more, right? Like down here, I've got maxed out milestones at 10K a day. And with my current credit total and my 5,000 a day estimate, I'm going to run out on day 14. And so I won't be able to get quite all of the credits. And also, it doesn't account for any runover, right? So if I get over 10K, it doesn't give me any benefit. I've just wasted those credits. So you got to think here, you know, whatever you start with and whatever you get per day on average is um is going to be uh you know pretty good and it should help keep you afloat as long as you're not going overboard and spending you know twenty thousand a day or something like that you should be able to hit a decent amount of these milestones remember you know if you're really trying to target it um you want to be somewhere around the five thousand spend per day to hit milestone 13 uh, which is the last or the second to last 25 milestone right so if you spend you know like let's say you get like um ghost shards twice in a day or something like that. That should put you uh, somewhere around milestone eight to nine. It'll put you past eight, but almost to nine, right? And you can get like one G15 mini unique purchase for 1400 on top of that. And that'll put you up here around milestone 12. That's pretty good for a day. I would just call it there, wait for the milestones to reset and then look in the store again for more stuff to buy. Um, but it is, it, the thing is, don't agonize over this. This is a very, very small amount uh, in the grand scheme of things. You got to think, um, you know, every blitz win is worth two, 22 points, right? And, you know, the best here you're going to get is 40 per milestone. So if you're just getting a few hundred from this per day for doing nothing, essentially, just buying stuff you'd normally do, it's just a nice to have thing. That's all. You don't have to rely on this. Even if you maxed it all out at the very end, you would get about 8,000 credits total right um that's not a whole lot right um it, it's 10 percent of the total events requirements so just something to think about so i'm just projecting i'm going to get about 7,000 credits from that and if i get more or less it's probably not going to matter the great thing is about this event though is if you are coming in a little bit low you can always just blitz a whole lot more to catch up and that's a really easy way to bridge the gap because you know every 10 wins is 220 points and you know you can keep blitzing and blitzing and blitzing use those charges and get lots and lots more essence and then just pull those orbs and uh make a make it up at the very end if you have to um, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm curious to see what's actually in some of these orbs. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull some of the orange ones real quick just to show. I got 10 here uh, ready to go. So we'll see if we can get any mini uniques. Um, of course, I'm recording, so it's very unlikely that I'll get any good pools, but we'll see. <laughs> All right, so it's just generic gear here and, and uh, then the shards on the left and right. Uh, it's, it's not 
nothing too crazy. There's a purple, but of course that's SBCs. Um, I'm guessing the uh, yellow drops in the center are what's going to be the G15 mini uniques. Uh, but you only get a cup, or you only get one at a time anyway, even if you land it, which is pretty weak, honestly, for how hard they are to acquire. Now, Mega Orb fragments, that's pretty nice. Uh, I'm coming up on another Mega Orb myself. Um, so getting really close there, actually. I only need another 83 points for that. That'd be cool. I'd like to get another Mega Orb. Hopefully it uh, net me something good. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to get it this pool, though. But sometime during this event, we'll definitely get it. And, uh, yeah, I got a couple of gold orbs there, so that's pretty nice. Uh, so in 10 orbs, I got a little bit like uh, a little bit more than one half of a uh, gold orb there, a quarter of a training orb, 18 SBCs. Uh, 325 Mega Orb Fragments, pretty good. That's not too bad. Uh, and then you can see here they got some G14. There's G14 Mini Tech Piece. There's a, a two Carbonadiums uh, and then just some random orange gear. So, you know, nothing too too crazy. Nothing nothing uh, to complain about. It's always nice to get more stuff, of course. Uh, but that's, that's those orbs and just to show what you can get out of them. So from 10 orbs, zero G15 minis, uh, you know, but there are a ton of minis in the, uh, the main milestone here. So uh, another quick tip, you don't have to pull these milestones whenever you uh, get them, right? So for me, like I'm going to hang on to milestone four here. I'm just going to leave it here uh, uh, until I need it for blitz charges for a blitz event that I actually care about. Um, same with uh, some of the energy. Maybe I don't need it all today. Um, so there's no reason to actually pull it uh, if you don't need to, right? So just something to think about. But anyway, so for here, I'm, I'm already, you know, what are we? Uh, day and a half, almost a little bit more than that through the event. I'm at milestone 17, which is you know a little bit, a little bit more than you know 12, 13 percent of the way through the event, which is pretty good. Um, so I think I'm doing all right. Uh, I should be on track. But what I can do is I can go back to my sheet here and take my 10,400 and plug it in here and then see how I'm doing. And so right now I'm um, earning about 7,800 per day and projected to make about 99,000 credits so far. So I'm doing well. I'm staying on track. So that's that's how this works. Um, if you have any questions about this, please let me know. I'll post a link to the sheet. It's in my resources and sheets. It's called Annie 3 Event is the tab name. I know you can't see it in the window because it's a little bit low, um, but it's very easy to do. This is a very nice and friendly event. There's a lot of good rewards towards the end, and uh, I'm pretty happy with this one. I think everybody should be very satisfied with it. It's very attainable. It's very free to play friendly as well uh, it's really just a matter of effort and uh, daily commitment to playing the game in order to meet all the milestones so let me know if you got any questions or suggestions or if you see any errors <laughs> always happy to chat uh, hit me up on discord if you need it otherwise uh, catch me I'll catch you later thanks for stopping by <laughs>